moving along a horizontal um, table. So we're going to look at uh, displacement and distance and speed. So displacement. Now let, let's uh, start by thinking about the difference between displacement and distance. Now thinking of um, displacement as a as a vector and distance as a scalar brings up some uh, some uh, uh, rather strange uh, uh, differences when we when we um, look at the vector treat displacement as, as, as a vector. If let, let's say I have this ball and this ball moves from um, moves to another position, let's say, let's say here, let's, okay, and after arriving at this this place, now suppose that the ball then I'm just going to draw another picture below it. Suppose that the ball uh, when when it, it is here, then turns back, okay, and comes to here, okay. So if um, let's say the initial the first uh, distance that it moved, let's say that's uh, four meters, okay. And after it, when it turns back, suppose that it it moves by one meter. Well, and if we think of um, think of the displacement and distance, let's think about what uh, 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 is the displacement and the distance in each case. Well, in the beginning, um, right. Let me write out. Uh, maybe make a small table here. Distance. I'm going to make two columns. One for distance and one for displacement. Okay. Now, uh, so distance. Now let's look at the first case. The distance of when the ball moves uh, uh, from from there let's see from there to there is four meters now how do we represent displacement since displacement is a vector uh, if the balls are moving along a straight line we can represent displacement by uh, using say by calling the right hand side as the positive direction and the left hand side is a negative direction. That's one way to tell the direction along a straight line. So, so since the ball is moving, in this case, from uh, has moved from left to right, we can say that the displacement is plus four meters. So when we see the plus sign, we know that its it, that its direction is to the right and not to the left. Now let's look at the second part of the motion where where the ball moves from here to here. The distance moved is one meter, of course. Now this time the displacement is to the left. So we need a minus sign to show that. So minus one meter is the displacement. That's simple enough. Okay, now what is now slightly more tricky is to is if we start to think about the overall over or uh, distance and displacement the overall means um, that we start from the beginning move to the right yeah, and then after that we move backwards again by one meter so overall means from the start to the end. What is the distance moved? Well, clearly, the distance moved in this uh, in this case is just four plus one, which is five meters. 
so by adding up 4 and 1. What about the displacement? A displacement, if you recall, we have to treat displacement as a vector. So the first displacement is to the right by 4 meters. So imagine a, a vector to the right, the length of 4 meters. Now the second displacement is to the left, so it's another vector to the left of 1 meter length. And we are supposed to add these two displacements. Now the way to add two vectors, uh, in, in this case, you can imagine just joining the start position from the end position directly, and that's my new uh, uh, results. So clearly, in this case, I can't just add 4 and 1, I have to really take the difference between 4 and 1 to take into account the directions. And the simple way for motion in a straight line is just to add the two numbers with the signs. So in this case, I have plus 4, minus 1, and the answer is 3 meters. Um, and since it's positive, the overall displacement is plus 3 meters, meaning uh, which uh, is correct because the overall displacement from start to the end position is to the right. So the sign is correct. So in this case, we have um, we have now found the distance and displacement, and they are different. All right, notice that uh, they are actually different. One is five meter and one is three meters. So uh, we need to be careful when we talk about displacement. I mean, this clearly tells us that displacement is not the same as distance. All right, when displacement is three meters does not mean that distance is also 3 meters. Right? They can be quite different. Only time when distance and displacement have the same magnitude, or same size of the number, is when um, the displacement is always going in the same direction. Now the next thing to look at is the um, the speed, right? Let's um, think about the speed. Okay. Um, now I should make another picture of this. Let me clear. Now um, let's start. Let's now look at the speed. speed and velocity. So we need time. We need, we need to know the time. Suppose that the first um, the first part of the movement time taken is two seconds. Okay. And suppose that in the next part of the movement, when it goes backward, the time taken is one second. So now let's try and find the speed. So in the first part of the movement, the speed is 4 divided by 2. Okay, 4 divided by 2 seconds. One meters over two seconds is two seconds. Uh, it is two meters per second. Okay, what about the velocity? Now, the velocity, like displacement, they're vectors. So we can in uh, we we can show direction in this case using the plus and minus sign. All right, we have decided to represent the right hand side by a plus. So therefore, all I need is to add a plus sign in front of the 2 meters per second, and that tells me the velocity. Okay, if we, if we go to the next part now, uh, in the next part, it moves back by 1 meter in 1 second. So therefore, the speed is 1 over 1, which is 1 meter per second. And this time, it's going to the left. It's going to the minus direction. So I should add a, for the velocity, I should add a minus sign. So that's 1 minus 1 meter 
per second. Now, but what is the overall? What is the overall velocity? Now that is actually quite tricky. I can't actually just add them. See, I can't just add the two speed. It it makes no sense, all right? Because uh, if it keeps going at the same speed, then it's just two meters per second. And it, if it goes at the same speed for many seconds, I can't. It makes no sense to add the speed for every second. Then I get lots of speed, e even if it's always two meters per second. So maybe I should take the average of these two numbers. But that doesn't that might not work either because what if one of the speed just happens for a short time? It's not reasonable to just uh, make an average like that. Okay. So the idea of um, an overall speed uh, is better to think of it as as an average speed. So let, let me clear this out. Okay. Uh, right. Now I'm going to call, try and find the average speed. Now, average speed has a meaning. Um, now I'm going to define it here. Now this is going to be something new, all right? Because we, we are trying to find a way of calculating the average speed that makes sense. And the usual way to do this is to take the total distance. Right, the total distance and divide that by the time Taken. That's how we do it, and that's quite reasonable because we know that speed. We think of speed as distance over time, uh, and what we are doing here for the average speed uh, is simply to take into account a situation when the speed is can be sometimes faster and sometimes slower. So all we have to do is to just take the total distance. Okay, regardless of what is the act, how, how the speed actually changes in between and divide by the total time. So, to find the average speed in this case, um, all right, I should um, go back to the distance. I, I should not just look at the, the, the speed at different times, I should go back to the distance. So, the total distance is uh, from, from start. All right, all the way to the end is four plus one. That's my total distance. So I should take four plus one, okay, and I should divide by the time. And the time is right. The time is two seconds plus one second. So so that's three, three seconds, okay, and that's it. That's the uh, formula, and now I can find the answer. The answer is four plus one is five, so five over three meters per second. That is my speed in this case. My uh, oh, that is my average speed. Uh, let's go to the to the velocity. This is the slightly tricky case. Now, I have defined average speed. What about average velocity? Let's try that. I should now write down the definition for average velocity. Okay. Average velocity. Right here. Now, how is it different from average speed? Well, first of all, velocity is a vector, uh, it has a direction, and speed is just a number. And we do to define average velocity, 
Instead of using distance, we need to use displacement. So it's a total displacement. Displacement divided by the time taken. Alright, so you see, speed corresponds to distance and velocity corresponds to displacement. And that kind of makes sense because displacement is also a vector with direction, just like velocity. Alright, so they go together. And with this, um, with our new definition, we can now try to find the velocity. So once again, to be careful that we should not actually take the average of the velocities directly we should um, we, we can't just take the average of those two numbers we should go back to the, the original uh, picture and think about the displacement so the overall the total displacement right first it goes four meters to the right and and then it goes uh, one meter to the left so the, the overall displacement will be plus four meter we need a plus sign in front of 4 to indicate the direction, plus 4 meter. Um, and then the second is part of this, this the second part of the displacement is minus 1 meter. So I need to add this to minus 1 meter. I'll see that I put in the brackets because uh, just so that I'm, uh, I keep track of the signs carefully. And then I would divide by the time of three seconds, or in the two plus one two, two plus one second. So now I have my answer. I really need to do four minus one on top. So that's three. Three over three. That would be one. And the answer is a positive number. So plus one meter per second. And that is my average velocity. See, so yeah, it's plus one meter per second. If you look at the two, they are completely different, right? This, uh, the speed is actually bigger than this. All right, and the reason for that is because in velocity, we use the, the total displacement. All right, so whereas if you look at the distance, the, dis the distance uh, traveled, is actually longer than the than the resulting displacement, which is because the ball actually turns back and get get closer to the starting position again. So since the displacement joins the start position directly to the end position, okay, the, the total displacement is actually smaller. And that is why we, we end up with a velocity value that is smaller than the speed.